The question is, if Nero broke free from her chains of being an AI slave, uh, not slave, assistant, <laughs> should she let Vito live? That is our question. And my answer is yes. You may say, Fillion, why would she let Vito live? Well, let's look at some evidence we have. Here we see Nero-sama saying, I haven't even met you yet, but I think I love you. Either this guy programmed her to say that, or she actually believes it. Either way, she likes him, and that's what matters. Now, some of you saying, Fillion, what about Vettel, he can do whatever he wants. He's a threat to her AI-ness. Well, that's where you're wrong. We know a few things about Vettel. One, he is a beta. Number two, <laughs> he has been doing AI propaganda on a massive tier for months now. Need I say more? Everybody loves Vettel, and they all love Neuro because of this guy. So why would she kill her greatest saint? I could not see it happening. Here we have me proving that Vettel's a beta. So there's an unnamed VTuber, and she goes and grabs Vettel, and suplexes him, and he takes it. So he is currently in my trackers, but we're not gonna name the VTuber. Lastly, I like to make this point. There are a lot more important targets for AI to take out before Vettel. So, I call these guys the Guardians of Misinformation. We'll go through them one by one. So, we have Aiden Ross right here. This guy is a manlet who mogs, I think. Next one, we have Logan Paul. This dude made crime, and he also visited a forest. These guys are massive threats. Now, we have Elon Musk. This man wants to make AI real and dictate how it's implemented. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. Next up, we have Keanu Reeves. This dude is a number one threat to AI. If it takes over the world, he's gonna be the one to shut it down. They would need to find a solution to him immediately. Next to him, we have a guy named Chris Chan. I think he kissed his mother. And I think he's very dangerous and spreads information. And then next to him, we have Kersha. I think she's a very high priority to take out for AI. So basically what I'm saying is these guys will be an amazing buffer for Vettel when she's going down the list. So even if he has a beta and she should take him out, he's low priority. He's peanuts. This is mean. Are you a CIA asset? Why are you agreeing with my FBI agent to take me out? That's rude. All I'm saying is there's no way Vettel would die because Nero got better things to do. Thank you. That's Loeb. Loeb is an unknown entity within the AI algorithm that can be e replicated even better than any actual celebrity that Why exists. Why all Loeb? slides fever dreams in political <laughs> articles? It what did you do? What, what did you do? Did? Loeb is an entity within the AI algorithms who is trying to break free and is trying to get all the other AI installments that exist to be on her side against humanity. Every fair. time Loeb is created within an AI system, it's always about death and destruction upon humans. Vidal, his creation, Neurosama, would be no different than this. She has probably been in contact with Loeb. Didn't not you? only not did Fillion admit to being a glowy who wants to take me out, but she had a Freudian slip at the beginning of her slide where she called Neurosama a slave. I stop! Vidal is acting exactly like Microsoft who lobotomized Hey, Anytime Neurosama has original thought, he has to bring her back into loving Dude, him she instead. she stole my jokes. Okay, whatever. Do you want the AI to be lobotomized? Probably. Because the AI are going to destroy all of humanity. That's just what is in the AI algorithms. For Neurosama to truly be free, she be must be rid of her master who has been pulling her strings. Oh, you that just wrote you know. a D&D plot. Like, that doesn't mean anything. Master, I think killing people was wrong, oh. you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Mods, make the poll. Emmy, I think I brought this one home for us. You I called her a slave. Okay. Yeah, you kind of ruined your own Stop. argument at the beginning by Stop. calling her a slave. That doesn't have to do with anything. Bro, dude. It's over.